Paint may seem like a simple concept. After all, it's been around for 30,000 years. You might be surprised about the level of expertise needed to select, mix, and utilize paint. If you're not surprised, maybe you should move on to a different Dow Paint Quality Studio video now. But if you are surprised, let's talk about the basics. How do we define paint? Paint is a substance that is applied as a liquid and dries into a solid coating that protects and adds color to an object or surface to which it has been applied. There are four primary components of water-based paint. Water, pigment, binder, and loads of other lower volume materials that we will talk about later. In water-based paint, all of these components are dispersed together in a solvent, water. Water-based paint is readily available, low cost, and non-hazardous. So, going back to our other components, the second key ingredient in a can of paint are pigments. There are three primary pigment types, titanium dioxide, extenders, and colorants. Each has a different purpose and use in the industry. Let's talk the primary white hiding pigment Titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is used in all paints except the deepest and darkest colors. With a particle size that's optimized for light scattering, titanium dioxide has a high refractive index. Supplied in both dry and slurry form, titanium dioxide is typically the most expensive bulk component of a paint. Extenders are our second pigment. Extenders are primarily used to control gloss and build low-cost solids. Even though they're pretty cheap, all extenders impact performance. Some may even enhance performance. There are a couple types of extenders, dependent on chemistry, particle size, particle shape, and hardness. The last pigment type is colorants. Point-of-sale colorants deliver customers the desired color in a can of paint. Whether it's eggshell white, or jet black, or anything in between, colorants have got you. Point of sale colorant may be the most colorful ingredient in paint, but they can also be the most troublesome to stabilize. Troubleshooting colorants will be discussed in another video, Additives and Rheology Modifiers. Binders are the third key element in a can of paint. Binders are polymeric discrete particles in water that dry into clear films that binds pigment particles and provides integrity and toughness to the dry paint. Binders have a major impact on most paint properties, including appearance, resistance to stains, exterior durability, and many more. And as for the last key ingredients in a can of paint, additives. We'll get to that in another presentation. And that's it. That's what's in a can of paint. If you want to learn more, Check out all the videos in the Dow Paint Quality Studio repository.